Hello students, welcome to my class. Uh, today I am going to explain the poem A Thing of Beauty written by John Keats. Uh, John Keats is a British romantic poet. <music> that at a very younger age at the age of 26 due to tuberculosis I mean TB yeah, John Kitts died of TB at 26 years of age and he devoted his life for poetry for the perfection of poetry and there are some of the famous poems in English literature written by John Kitts mainly his odes uh, like odes to Egesianan, ode to Psyche Otto Nightingale, Otto Autumn, etc. And I have uh, read some of the poems of John Keats, uh, poems of John Keats like On First Looking into Satman Sumar, Otto Egesianan, Otto Autumn, Otto Nightingale. And if you uh, pursue uh, BA honors in English, you will also get the sounds to read some of the best poems of John Keats. And uh, the themes of uh, John Kitts' poems are mostly nature, love, and mercy for beauty. And uh, in English literature, uh, Kitts is also known as the poet of sensuousness uh, because the language and the images he used in his poems uh, makes, uh, make a very sensuous appeal to the readers. Um, means it can arouse our five senses so he is known as the poet of sensuousness and um, right now uh, I like to recall some of the famous lines of um, lines of written by John Keats in his poems like uh, Ode to a Gesserna um, hard melodies are sweet but those unheard are more sweeter and like they um, from the Ode to Adam, Season of mist and mellow fruitfulness, close bosom friend of the measuring sun. And one of the famous lines written by kids is like, mm, beauty is truth, truth is beauty, <laughs> like that. And students, I hope I you search in Google and read the poems of John Kids. I, I think all of you, uh, some of you might uh, love this poem sure. Um, this poem sure. And this poem, A Thing of Beauty, is taken from uh, its um, a long poem. Uh, the name of the poem is Endymion, a Poetic Romance, uh, which is based on, which is written on a Greek legend, and who is uh, Endymion, a mortal shepherd boy, a mortal shepherd, uh, falls in love, love with the uh, moon goddess Cynthia. And so uh, this poem is the beginning of the poem Endymion. And please, please follow the text. Now I'll explain the poem. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Its loveliness increases. It will leave her pass into nothingness. But still will keep a power quite for us. And a slave full of sweet dreams and health and quite breathing. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. The poet says... The first message of the poem, a thing of beauty is a sorry forever. A beautiful thing gives us, provides us joy that is everlasting. And the poet says, so that a thing of beauty is a joy forever. Its loveliness increases. The joy that we derive from a thing of beauty, its loveliness increases with time. It never decreases. And... It will never pass into nothingness. It will never devalued. And um, what the thing of beauty gives us, uh, it, it will keep a bower quite for us. It will give a steady place for us to rest, take rest. And a sleep full of dreams, sweet dreams. It also provides us a sleep. Uh, this, is, this is full of dreams and, and good health and relaxation. The poet says, a thing of beauty gives us Everlasting joy, 
uh, it will never devalute or it will never decrease with the pieces of time and the poet says a uh, uh, thing of beauty gives us luck like a bower a steady place under a tree and like uh, sweet dreams and good health and relaxation um, students please keep in mind uh, in this first stanza the poet by thing of beauty the poet does not want to mean the common ordinary things uh, which is which is seen our day to day life in our material world like the beauty of a girl like the beauty of a dress like the beauty of a furniture the poet does not mean here the poet means uh, the not the ordinary objects the poet means some special objects of nature the poet says that uh, this is not ordinary things this is the objects various sources and objects of nature uh, so uh, keep in mind a thing of beauty the, the poet means here is the nature and its beautiful objects therefore in every morrow are we writing a flowery band to bind us to the art spite of despondence of the inhuman dart of noble nature's of all the unhealthy and overdrinken ways made for searching yes in spite of all from sip of beauty moves to the pole from a dark space says the moon says the sun the moon please old and young sprouting steady boom for a simple sip next then the poet says therefore every morrow every morning morrow means morning are we reading a flowery band to bind us to the art how do you start a day the poet says we start we start a day making a garland from the flowers making a garland from the flowers to the poet says that we make we make a close connection with nature in the very morning by making a garland from flowers and we make a close contact with tie up our contact our bond our friendship with nature in the very morning in spite of despondence of the inhuman dart of noble nature's in spite of despondence yeah in our human life we do may have we do may have despondence we, we do may have depression we do may have negativity we do may ha may have may ha have some negative thoughts some ill feelings some unhealthy situation or some overdue kind of some gloomy days the poet says it is very common in our human life it is full of negativity full of ill thoughts and full of depression yet while we are in depression our soul always searches for something goodness some beautiful things and the poet says when we see the beautiful things we forget all of our miseries and sorrows can you see and a beautiful things have, have that power to drive you away from our life the miseries and sorrows which surround us so the poet says in spite of all some shape of beauty moves with a pole from our dark space some the beautiful when you see the beautiful things we forget all about our sorrows and miseries and we always optimist and we always hope for good days so the poet means by the, in this in this lens says the moon the the sun the moon trees old and young sprouting a steady bone for simple sake here in a, then the poet here mentions the things of beauty then he come to know what are the things of beauty like the sun because the sun gives us light it gives us energy the sun is a symbol of vitality and energy and the poet says the beautiful things are like the sun the moon the moon has also moon is also beautiful and the moon has also some energy it is it also gives us hope and aspirations and the poet says trees old and young all the trees young and old trees they what did what they do what they provide us they provide us some steady moon some steady moon steady place even for simple sip for simple sip the by by the simple sip the poet uh, means all the animals that are provided shelter by the nature and saucer daffodils with the green world they live in 
and the poet says the epodils also thinks of beauty because they they live in a green world they look very beautiful and astounding and clear rills and the small streams the rivers that for themselves a cooling cover make against the hot season all the sources of water like the ocean like the river like the rills like the ponds what they do, what they do provide us they provide us some relief in the hot season and the poet says these are also things of beauty and the poet says the mid forest break in the in the middle of the forest the farms are the farms are blooming other flowers like the farm dekia mid forest break rich with sprinkling of fair much rose blooms and in that forest some roses are also blooming these are also things of beauty and here we get um, the list of the things of beauty mentioned by the poet like the sun the, the moon the trees the daffodil flowers the rills the waters and the uh, forest break in the uh, roses so students i think you you have understood the mean, the meaning of the stanzas and and sans too is the gender of the domes we have imagined for the mighty dead all lovely tales that we have heard or read and endless fountain of immortal drink pouring unto us from the heavens bring then the poet jumps to another things from the things of nisar the poet says the gender of the domes are also things of beauty and what are the gender of the drums uh, in this line and the poet uh, wants to mean about the heroes who sacrificed their life for for a noble cause because we have we have built or erected some tombs in memory of them like the heroes of we can say mahatma gandhi nelson mandela and all the our freedom fighters and the uh, other great people of the world because we we have built some tombs in memory of them these are also things of beauty because the by the heroic deeds by the heroic deeds by the heroic sacrifice they inspire they inspire us every day and the heroes inspire us every day for by their heroic works uh, by their patriotic love and so the poet says that these are also things of beauty all lovely tales that we have heard or read tales what kind of tales we have heard from since our childhood lots of tales and by tales the poet does not want to mean only the stories or the tale or the fable or the legend the poet wants to mean all the great literatures of the world that we have heard like ramayana mahabharata iliad odyssey like the works of shakespeare like the works of plato aristotle all the all the things that written by the great writers by the great writers of the world and the great epics all these are things of beauty and the poet says an endless fountain of immortal drink pouring unto us from the heavens pain uh, by this line uh, by this line i mean two things at first uh, i think the poet um, the poet wants to say that all lovely tales are like immortal drink immortal drink amrit pouring us unto from the heavens pain like it pour like it pours from the heavens pain to us is like a nectar the poet the tales are compared to immortal drink or nectar um, i mean and like this also i mean <clears throat> all the things of beauty the poet mentions in the poem like the objects of nature the sun the moon the trees old and young daffodils the rivers the streams and the roses and the daffodils all and all this and the gender of the drones and the, all the lovely tales all these things of beauty are compared to immortal drink that immortal drink that pour that pours to us immortal drink pour to us from the heavens pain uh, so in the last line of the poem we some we see some mysticism rahasya rahasya bad 
and so the poet uh, this poem is a very beautiful poem written by John Keats and after reading and explaining the poem is an every time I always feel this is incomplete students I'll try to understand the meaning of the poem but you take one message from this poem and the message is that a thing of beauty is a joy forever the poet says beautiful things gives us provide us joy that is everlasting and, and it increases with the paces of time and the poet says that uh, the poet does not want to mean the ordinary things that we see in our material world in our day-to-day -day life the poet means the objects of nature nature and its beautiful objects and some literatures and the, and the tombs that we erected for the mighty heroic people all are like the immortal dream students try to understand the meaning of the poem plus don't forget the message of the poem the message is that and the poet worships beauty in this poem and that beauty is the beauty of nature thank you sorry i just uh, i forget to mention uh, when i explain great tales great tales that we have heard read uh, I just forget to mention about the works of Sankar Devo, our Madhav Devo, Madhav Kandoli, and all the other great literatures of Asanis also. So, all the great tales means all the tales that we have heard or read, like uh, since your childhood. So, uh, I feel I should mention about the works of, uh, works of Sankar Devo and Madhav Devo also. Thank you.